Hi, Christina Went here with a acting tip for you. Um, today I will be answering the question that I can never find online. Or I can find, but I don't find a whole lot of information about. What to bring on set as an extra. So I thought I'd share with you guys what I brought on set last year. I was on set for three weeks shooting a movie. Um, I was an extra in it. And I thought I'd share with you what I brought. It's not exactly everything I brought, not exactly what I brought, because it was a year ago. It's a lot to remember. Um, so I have a bunch of different stuff that I know I did bring on set. Um, it may not be identical to what it was, though. So, everything I brought was in this duffel bag. It's by Protocol. Um, it's been actually fixed once because it was broken. Um, and then I brought clothes in the so what you should bring on set besides the clothes because nine times out of ten you'll have to bring your own clothes and do your own makeup and bring your own shoes um I say do your own makeup because most of the time they're not gonna have somebody doing your makeup so and you always want to bring it just in case they have to do a touch up so they can use your makeup so they touch up to what you what you look like um so you want to bring pens with you um, because it's better than not bringing pens. In case you have to fill out your waiver or you have to sign in. Which in this case I had to fill out a waiver the first day. And then I had to sign in every day after that. So I had a pen with me. I had brought like five pens because I had to be, and, and a pencil. A couple of pencils. Because I would play a high school student who doesn't carry pens and pencils in their backpack. So I have pens. You want to bring on set with you. Definitely bring pens. And bring something to do. Um, I carry around, it's jo it says jobs and auditions on it. Um, it is any casting call that I submit for, I write it in that notebook. Um, so I've submitted for a lot of casting calls. I feel This one has acting info in it. And so what I thought about doing, but I didn't really remember until, you know, two weeks in, I was going to write down the different words that I hear on set, like back to one, um, and different stuff like that. And so I might do an acting video on different words you'll hear on set. So that way you know what they are before you get there. And then what else I, I did bring on set was a planner. Not this planner. The other one had flowers on it too. Um, but what it is is good to have because you can have a month at a glance. And then each week... Or each, after each month, before the next month, they have week at a glance. And they're nice and long weeks. Um, so, which is good for me, because in case I have to write a lot about what I'm doing, or what I'm going to, I have the paper to do it. Another thing you really have to bring on set is your, especially if you drive, your wallet with an ID in it. Um, this is my wallet. Um, it does have my ID in it. Um, along, it's actually my wallet, so it has everything in it. Um, you could either bring that, or you can like, bring, like, a little wallet with your ID, some money, just in case, like, you get lunch break and you want to go someplace else that, besides what they serve you, which, I got all really good food. Um, pizza, lasagna, I mean, good food. Um, but if you're like me and you're allergic to milk, make sure to bring your lactate, so that way you can eat the really good food. Or bring food with you. Sandwiches, granola bars, applesauce, fruit, peanut butter in little cups, um, and crackers, pretzels, chips, boom chicka pop. Best popcorn ever. So what else you should bring <laughs> back to off my rant on boom chicka pop. Um, what else you should bring is lotion. Because it's not, it's, you're going to dry out your hands, especially since I had to carry books and mess with lockers and like open the lockers and stuff. And your hands dry out really quickly, especially from changing clothes, changing your clothes and washing your hands a lot. And, you know, just generally messing around. So, lotion. Mine is Country Chic. It was Neutrogena Sesame Formula. Light sesame formula body lotion. 
I got this at a hotel. In the little hotel bathroom. Um, <laughs> I ran out of that lotion, so I filled it with my own Bath and Body Works Country Chic's best lotion. Then you should bring lip balm and lip gloss. The lip gloss because you'll need to have, you know, lip gloss on. And then it's actually from the Dollar Tree. Then I have a Raspberry Lemonade Blast Blistex. Um, it has SPF 15 too, so you won't sunburn your lips. Um, but it's always good to have lip balm with you because if you're like me, you get really chapped lips and you need lip balm. So when I was on set, I did not bring a scrunchie. And so I did not bring scrunchies, I forgot. Because it's the 90s, so everybody wore scrunchies. Well, most people wore scrunchies. Um, and so what we, what she did was she's like, do you want a scrunchie? I won't wear them all. And so I'm like, sure. So she gave me a scrunchie. Um, and then whenever I went home for the weekend, I bought a blue backpack. Because I wore a pink one, but not every day. Like, I, like it's literally in there like three times. Um, and then I bought scrunchies, navy blue one, and a black one. And so I have three scrunchies in three different colors, tan, blue, and black. And then a comb and a folding brush that you can stick in your backpack, or duffel bag in this case. And then I don't use, like, the rubber bands you can buy at, like, Walmart or the Dollar Tree or Kroger wherever you happen to buy rubber bands. Um, I don't buy rubber bands there, or those kind of rubber bands. I have to use the ones with the ties, ones that you can use like as a bracelet and then make it like, really cool. Because my hair is so thin it falls out. So I was, I found this out by, um, I went to get my hair cut one day and the lady's like, do you know your hair, do you know, why are there these little hairs? I was trying to figure out why there's little hairs. And she told me that my hair was breaking. And I'm like, I always pull out hairs. And she's like, what kind of rubber bands do you use? And so I showed her, showed her the regular rubber bands. And she's like, go over to hair care and buy the little, these little ones with the knots on them. And she's like, it'll protect your hair from damage. I'm like, oh, okay. So I went to Walmart. But they're like, and well, it was at Walmart. It was the style salon. And they're like, three dollars for five. I'm like, no. So I went to the Dollar Tree, bought five for a dollar. Um, which happens to be this one and four of its friends. They're all pastel colors. Um, but they all stretch out, so don't buy them at the Dollar Tree. Unless you have really thick hair. Um, because I have really thin hair and it doesn't work. So that's what that was. So I now use those for, and then I actually went to Walmart on the clearance aisle and found the, like, the fabric to make them, like, the rubber, the stretchy band, and to make them, it was this four, those little four little rubber band things, and so I got two packs of those for a dollar each, so I make my own now. What else you can bring on set with you is books. Best thing to bring the only book that I know for sure I brought was my Nancy Drew books, and I think I brought Hangman's Curse. Hangman's Curse is by Frank Preddy. It's amazing and creepy, but not too creepy. It's like, I don't know, it's for teenagers. Um, and then Nancy Drew books, of course. They're like my favorite thing ever. My collection has, I have like 40 in my collection. Um, I'm trying to get all of them. Um, I wear glasses. Um, they're actual real glasses too, so they're not like fake. Um, and so I have to bring a glasses case on set with me. Um, because I don't want to ruin my glasses. It's the only pair I have. Um, what else you should bring is my favorite thing, because my nails always break. Nail clippers, cuticle trimmer, tweezers, scissors, cuticle pusher, nail file. Basically, it's a manicure set in a little package. And then, what else you can bring with you? Well, what I bring with me is I have a business card that is my headshot. 
and so what it is what it is um, is it has my name my email address and my telephone number on it and so that way I can hand I can hand it to if I see directors or producers or whatever or the director and say wants my business card you know or a headshot or something so that's what I do um and then I have a emergency backup charger for my phone just in case you know it dies um, and then I have my wall charger and the cord for my wall charger so I can charge my spiffy cell phone um, also, I, I have an MP3 player that I don't think I brought last year on set, but you can, you might want to bring this. Okay, it may look like a package of mints, but it's not. It is headphones. So all you do, my mom found this tip for me. You take an empty package of mints, you can take off the lid, wash them, get the little labels off. It's still sticky on the bottom. I gotta clean it. Um, let it dry. Um, put the lid back on it. You can decorate them. Um, and then put your... Roll up your headphones. Like so. Around your hand. Um, and then put them inside the little hole. Close them up. And it keeps them protected. So you don't have a mess on your hands or tangled headphones. So, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you would like more. If you have a question about acting um, that I can turn into a tip later on, please comment, um, like the video, and I will try to answer any questions. If you have a question and I get several questions, I might be able to do a Q&A later on. Thank you.